So technically, I think, the first record I worked, and by worked I mean when they were on tour I had to call clubs and whatnot to make sure, you know, records and posters and whatnot arrived. It was weird because there were never any records or posters at those clubs. I know. I know. Um, and believe me, in those days, fish were on the road 300 days a year, we heard about it. But damn it, we sent them out. I don't know what happened to them after we left them at the open post office. Um, so he was about to release two albums, one called Hot Chocolate Massage by Tiny Lights. Yeah. Did anyone from Tiny Lights make it? I don't think so. Two. Um, and the other one was a self-titled album by an unknown band from Amherst, Massachusetts. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, technically, the first record I worked at Absolute A Go Go is the Best Driven album because you guys were AGO 1990 and Tiny Lights was AGO 1991. We <laughs> Even though I think they came out the same day. Um, so yeah, these feckin' guys. Um, story after story of these guys traveling to Springfield uh, or Northampton, Mass for shows at the Pearl Street coincidentally opening for Miracle Legion parties at the Ruby Ranch Woo! <laughs> that, was, that was their house they, they, did the, they did that old band thing where they shared a house um, and uh, how many years later is it now? We have not played together for 25 years, that is the fact. Thank you. This is our first time together in 25 years. 
This is Andy Goose. He went on to have a real life, unlike most of the rest of us. Did you even still own a guitar? This is the same guitar that I did play in this band at the very end, yes. Yes! Gibson Les Paul, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, it gives me great pleasure to uh, welcome back to a stage, any stage, anywhere, the Vestrymen. <laughs> Let's go, man. 